the shower. Whew. Resting my nerves, calming my nerves before I start making phone calls. Stuff like that is 10 o'clock. So yeah, they have already been in and out my room. They were replacing my computer. I just was crying, y'all. The sweetest package last, well, I probably been got it, but I just opened it last night. And so I was reading the card again because I read it last night. So it's cute. It's really, really cute. China and D um, sent me this. And yeah, I want to know how old China is. This is so cute. She made me cry. I was just reading it. She like, I know you are going through some very tough times, but believe me, when I tell you this is going to get bad, you deserve to smile and be happy. When I pray, I will count you and my blessings twice. Yeah, y'all. Yeah. Y'all be making me cry. <laughs> All right, so, and they also sent me this cute little outfit that I can wear around the hospital. I said, I'm gonna be cute today. Wait till I take out my braids. I hope I have enough energy to do my eyes, but we, we will see. We will see. This is knocking at my door. All right, so I'm trying to figure out what I'm gonna eat. I do have my fruit here, but sometimes the fruit is not good. Sometimes it is good. The cucumbers are pretty much always good, so I probably put these in my refrigerator, but I'm not gonna try this fruit. Um, yeah, I have to be careful with that. Organize my room, try, uh, send some stuff home. I've been saying it, but I just haven't been having any energy to do all that. Yeah, and they also sent me some activewear. I lock my little pants, they bought me. Oh, oh. <laughs> I think I need, I need to get outside today, so I'm gonna go outside for hopefully. I'm gonna go outside for a little bit, but first I gotta eat and start moving around first. We're gonna do chemo next week too, so I just have to brace myself for that. I did have nausea all last night, so tonight I'm gonna try to i'm gonna take a, a i'm gonna request a nausea med right after treatment so that i cannot so that i probably won't can like increase my chances well so that i can decrease my chances in feeling like that i have been up since four o'clock this morning this you know is no joke like i totally feel for people that has to do this all the time with cancer and I could just imagine I'm about to start crying because it's it's just I've only had two days of it and it is just the worst feeling ever and it just does something to your body you have to say okay is this really supposed to make me feel better because it's making my body feel a lot worse. So I just really feel for people that have to do this all the time. It's, nobody should have to do that. <laughs> and I'm just sitting here crying. All right, I'll see y'all in a little bit. All right. <laughs> Yeah, I'm in the middle of eating, but I don't know why I find it so funny, but this computer in this room been out for so long. So many people came. They even ordered a new computer for it. And guess what? It was just a freaking keyboard. I... <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. The eating, I decided to eat some fettuccine, shrimp fettuccine. So I'm finishing that, that up now, and I'll be back. Halfway up. Can we give it up to me? So many visitors, and I'm just looking at them like. <laughs> My doctor said, you look tired. 
I'm looking at her like, I am tired. <laughs> I'm really tired. Today I don't have any treatments. My treatments will start back next week, which I'm thankful for. All right, so I'm gonna finish my lash now. Does that just make me cry? I got a letter from Scoria. And I can't wait to write her back. I was visiting with one of my friends here and it's just so, we were talking about you. Um, you made my day. I'm just gonna finish my lash now before I have rehab. Cause still gotta have rehab and I'm still gonna go outside for a little bit and have a popsicle. They have, they finally have popsicle guys. I don't know how to act. I've been putting popsicle on my whole order for lunch and dinner. So I have my popsicle in my freezer. Oh gosh. When I go outside, I'm gonna take it with me. I'm gonna sit outside and have popsicle. Oh, I can't wait. Let <laughs> me hear up and finish my life. Let's just talk right quick. This is why I can't get nothing done, okay? My mom to death. I love her to death, but many times she makes these decisions without thinking them out logically. And if you think about it, it just don't make sense. And then you make these decisions and then you become frustrated and you take it out on everybody else because of your decision that you made that wasn't well thought or you didn't leave and ask for direction. You just made this decision and I tell you, I really have to, you know, that's one thing I have to pray for pre and post surgery for her mental state to be strong enough to handle these things. Do I know how hard it's gonna be? Yes, but I'm not sure that she knows just how hard or difficult of a task it's gonna be. So, you know, maybe that's one reason why I haven't got a transplant yet, you know? We don't know how God is working, but we just know that come in the right time when everything is the right time so she needs to get it together y'all we're gonna pray about it My auntie just texted me she's like i gotta text her back so i'm gonna text you back <laughs> but she watches my vlog and she's like i just want to let you know that i love you and this is my auntie that went through breast cancer and did it all along now a lot about family support because it's important to me and i do have a lot of family support my aunt she got cancer well she found out that she had cancer so she stays in austin so she's there and we don't have any family there our family is here we we have we had my uncle that y'all have seen that he's here now okay it's all confusing but anyways basically nobody was there with her and i feel so bad that i couldn't be there because you know my my sickness but she did have my mom and my aunt that could have been there and when she talk about it i know that she's hurt by it because i would be hurt too like you have these sisters here that can even if it was a weekend or an off day or something you could have made time and so i definitely understand what she feels with that you know and i don't get to i don't get to express that with my mom or my other aunt her twin sister because it's just like people have their own thoughts and all of that but i definitely know what my aunt that went through cancer 
by herself fell. And I wish I could have been there, but I couldn't, you know? But one time she did need me and I did drive to Austin, so I'm proud of that. But yeah, I, I definitely understand what she feels when she, cause nobody was there with me. Even if my mom could have took off some days or just support is everything. And they weren't there. Nobody was there. So I, I just, I just feel so bad. Our God was with her, but you need it. You need family support. You need some kind of support. You know, I'm thankful in that aspect, but do I feel like someone should have been there with her? Definitely. Do I feel like one of her sisters or both of her sisters could have drove to Austin and been with her? Definitely. Be there. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, just be there for people. And what are you doing so important, especially if you have the time, you know? And my mom, you know, she had the time. I wasn't in a hospital or anything, but you know, I was sick and whatever, but, and my other aunt, she has the time. And they could have, you know, of course, everybody dealing with their own little thing, but you could have made time to do something. I always talk about family support and how important it is, because it's very important. <laughs> I am still trying to finish my lashes. I am so slow, but I was trying to answer, I was trying to multitask and answer some of you guys' questions. Like when somebody asks me something, I just go look at the amount of likes it has to, cause it means more people wanna know about it. And so one of the questions I got was, since I'm sick, do I still have a menstrual cycle? Yeah, well, okay. Yes and no. Um, up until I just, I got on a birth control probably about a year and a half ago, so I haven't had a cycle since then, but before then, yeah, I had cycles. My cycles were regular. Birth control to, because every time I would get a cycle, and my cycle has pretty much always been like that since I started it, where I'm just really sick. Really sick, and once, it, whenever I got diagnosed with lupus, Whenever around that time of the month my cycle come on, I just feel like I'm about to die. So I was just, it just flared me and I just felt bad every time that time of the month came. But you know, towards the end it would be okay. And so I was just discussing with my doctors and then plus a lot of the medicine that I'm on, it just requires you to be extra safe in birth control. And so um, we decided that, well I decided that, you know, to talk to my OBGYN and so I got on the Mirena, Mirena, I think that's how you pronounce it. And this is an IUD that stays in for about five years. So um, for the past year and a half, I don't have a cycle. So yeah, and it just, basically I did that just for it to, to help with those flares at the, um, around that time of the month for me. But other than that, I have regular cycle to be concerned about, so. And you do have to, strangely enough, to get on the transplant list, you do have to get all of that clearance before you can get on approved for the list. Yeah, it's so many things they make y'all do, y'all. <sighs> it's crazy. They all up in your business, they are open your business for these organs. Whew. If it's gonna help with my antibodies. If it's gonna help with your, your what now? If it's gonna help with my antibodies. Your antibodies? Uh huh. So do it, do it, do it look like it's just gonna help with your mother? They don't know. They have to. I started this week, so we have to do another round next week and then they have to run some more blood tests to see if it's worked or not. 
Alright, so I'm literally excited about going outside. I'm gonna take my Bluetooth speaker and my iPad and um so and one of my nurses bought me this bag. This is such a cute bag and I'm about to put all my stuff in there and go downstairs. As soon as I use the restroom. Cause these flu up here just got me all over the place. Alright, so I waste half of my popsicle. But that's okay, but I'm having a patio porch party. So who all coming? <laughs> Hold on, y'all. Now is the four step. So I need me some dancers that's going to be doing a four step with me. Hey! <laughs> My oxygen getting low, so I gotta go back up now. The patio for it party was fun while it lasted. I'm gonna have to come back and do it some other time, you know? Okay, so it's literally almost four o'clock, and I'm having a pretty good day today. Um, really chill. Had my popsicle, had me a little mini patio party. A little stuffy, but hey, it's always gonna be something to say. <clears throat> that sometimes people, they don't understand you, don't get you. You know what I mean? Like, for an example, basically people are afraid of what they don't understand. Sometimes I get like that too, but a lot of times when you're sick and in this, what's supposed to be a dark space, people, they think that you're supposed to be not lively and in the dark place that you're in. And a lot of times when they see me being alive, they don't understand like why are you so happy you know because sometimes I can tell you I have more a lot more life than some of these nurses that walk in my room and it's sad cuz I'm the one in a hospital bed I'm the one that's confined to this hospital right now you're not so have some more life have some more life in you like life is not, it's better, like, you're so blessed. And I think that when you open your eyes and you really just see that, you're so blessed. Everything is okay. Here, I might be breathing with all this oxygen and all of this, but I'm here and I'm okay and I'm seeing and I'm loving and Right now, it just is what it is, but, you know, I, I just don't understand how people can be just so miserable, and I could just have more life than them, and they're living their lives, even some negative people on YouTube, and it's like, really, like, <laughs> I'm in a hospital, and you want to be negative, like, I guess, but you know, this, you just have miserable people, and and I feel so bad for those people because they're never gonna experience that peace or that happiness in life that they're supposed to have. It's just so dark. Like, have you ever been around a dark spirit, dark energy? It's not fun. Like, don't, don't have that around me. Like, I don't need that in my life. Like who's always down and depressed and complaining every single day. Like, I don't have time for that. Just finished eating, watching crime shows. I'm exhausted and my body is just not being, being nice to me right now. It's about to 
in this and trying to get some rest y'all i've been up since four o'clock <sighs> i got another question did i still pay rent while i'm in the hospital yes guys i still pay bills while i'm here if i didn't i wouldn't have anywhere to go after transplant that would be a whole nother issue that we don't need so that's why homegirl still has to pay her bills we'll need to talk to a caseworker about what's gonna happen i think i'm already past my hospital days i don't know at this point <laughs> i don't know nothing and i don't want to know it's kind of just like overwhelming everything's like stack 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 and i don't want to deal with it because i just it's just too much when you factor it all in and it's just like okay once you give it to god you have to let him keep it you can't take it back so i gave all that to him i can't take it back i can't worry about that what i can do is just thank him for allowing me to Still pay my rent, still have a place to go home to recover when I have these lungs, still have a car, I need to have somebody check on my car, but still have a car to get me to and from my doctor's appointments, make sure that my healthy lungs are, are good when, we get, when I get them. You know, we just focus on things like that. So, that's about it, that's about it. CEO, he did come by today to check how things were going. Well, you know, I just told him that I wasn't feeling very well, you know, kind of weak from the chemo. And I said, y'all finally got some popsicles in. Thank you. Thank you. So it should be a popsicle coming in a little bit. Let me clear my little table. Clear my table so they can put my little tray right here with my popsicle on there. I don't have any complaints. I just pump these lungs so I can get it going to my next journey in life, like the next pages of my book. And wonderful, more wonderful people, more amazing people, and just love and be loved. And with that, I'm gonna end it. The diary series are gonna be back next week. I'm gonna see you guys next week. More chemo next week, which I'm not, you know, excited about it, but hey, it is what it is. And yeah, I might see you guys this weekend. I don't know, I don't know what you guys think. I don't know. Anyways, good night. I love you guys. It's a warning, be careful with me, yeah